Amid the ongoing crisis in Ukraine, the country's national flower, the sunflower, has become a symbol of hope and solidarity around the world. Protesters have been photographed holding bouquets. Uh, London's Russian embassy was covered in drawings of the bloom and Jill Biden was pictured wearing a sunflower mask uh, in support. So today, Daisy Payne is showing us how you can plant your own. And good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, it's lovely, lovely, having lovely to you. have you in the studio. Nice Normally, it's you. down the line. I know. Well, um, sunflowers have been grown in Ukraine since the mid 18th century, yeah. so they do really well there. There's millions of hectares mm. of sunflowers growing all across the and country. And so, also, because of that, a major producer of sunflower, sunflower oil. oil yeah. Exactly. They're like the biggest producer of sunflower oil mm. um, in the world. So... Um, they might, they, I mean, they're easier to grow than most things, are they? They because are. Because I feel like it's like you grow with your kids. It's like, right, let's grow a bean and let's grow a sunflower. <laughs> they're, they're like sturdy. you sturdy. Yes. They're really sturdy and they are beautiful. They come I've, in got, loads I've of actually different got varieties. a sunflower picture which I asked to be uh, to be painted for me, which is uh, which is on the wall, and that's my because I'm I absolutely love them oh, so, so much. And they are a happy flower, aren't they? They yeah, like that's my aren't sunflower they? picture. <laughs> <They're> uplifting, <laughs> that's um, stunning. Well, there's loads of varieties. So even if you've only got a small space, Holly, you were just saying you've you know have yeah. loads of space. Um, there's there's dwarf varieties. There's giant varieties. So you can really you know. Pick the one that suits your space. They are easy to grow, I and we're going to do one. it now. <laughs> you take that one. Just home. take that one home. Right, okay. So, so where do we begin? This is the perfect time for it as well. I will just say. So March time. So by August, we'll have beautiful uh, sunflowers. Okay. So there we go. So you want some peat-free compost. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got your gloves on, Holly. They look the great. Gloves. This is my favourite bit. So we're going to take a few dirty. scoops. You're going to pop them into your pot. Like so. <laughs> How's it going? We go one at a time. Take it in turn. And give it a bit of a give it a bit of a shimmy in there. You want to make sure. Are you it's filling nice it all the way to the top? So you want to fill it to about this little well, first... indent. All right. Okay. Is. Oh, You're making a right mess in. over there. No, I'm just doing it quicker. So I've given you the bag now. There you go. All yours. There we go. So okay. peat-free compost is really important. That's your environmentally friendly option. Okay. So you're gonna pop it in. And level off your top so that you've got a nice even. Yeah, I've got a bit of a chunk there. There we go. Right. So then grab your pen. Yep. And your packet of seeds. Yep. So you're going to take your pen and just pop. You can do either two things. You can either plant one sunflower in here with one hole, How big or you are they can do get? a few. Well, if you pop one in, you can then look after it, nurture it, and then pop it into your garden when it's a bit bigger. Or you can do this like a little nursery bed. You can have a few in there, and then you can repot them as they get bigger. Uh, so repot, them, you. repot them or put them in the garden? Well, you can put them in well, the garden once it warms up. Why don't they look like the sunflower seeds you eat? <laughs> These are special ones for growing and sowing. So if you got a sunflower seed like you're in your snack box, if you planted it, would it not grow? I think it would, you know. You have to try. What's the maximum I can put in here? I would probably put four in there if you want a selection um, in there. But I'm going to put one in the middle. I'm going to okay. go for I'm one. I'm going to put one in the middle. The depth so of what? About an inch? Yeah, a couple of centimetres. And these are so easy to grow. This is a lovely one to do with the kids. Um, gonna... That lovely... You know, hopeful. Listen, I do simple. grow things that we do on the show. We did, <laughs> we did tulips last year, I think. And look at my tulips now. Those are from bulbs. Where's that? Look, look, just to prove. I can't. Look, hey, look at that. They've they look actually good. grown and come up. They're about to bloom, Holly. I know. They look right. nice, don't they? So once you've popped them in your hole, yep. you want to mm -hmm. cover it over. With more soil? With a little just... bit. Yeah, just that's right. That's it. And then give it a good little tap all the way round oh, so thought... it's compacted. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Then you want to label your sunflowers. If you're anything like me, you've got loads of things growing at home. You forget what you've put. Um, you forget what you've. Sunflower. Okay. What else are you growing at the moment? Is it? I mean, is it all seeds? It's all seeds at the moment, Holly. I've got everything growing. I've got lettuce, tomatoes. But outside. All sorts. Not outside. In the in the um, greenhouse. Yeah. All right. In okay. the greenhouse and also in the windowsill. Oh, OK. So this is where you're going to pop this. You're going to water it now. And then keep it well, watered every... I put, the, uh, I put the date on so I know when I planted them. Oh, you're very Good clever. Idea. Good this idea. Is, um, so we water... How much do you... I haven't got an end on mine. Ooh. 
a little bit of a soaking, make sure it's nice and wet through. That's it. Mm -hmm. And then... Is that enough? This. Oh, it's not soaking in, it's just sitting <laughs> on the top. Okay. Sitting on it a bit. I think it's because of the pour. There you go. Right. You're going to put that, take that home with you, pop yes. it in a sunny windowsill. OK, we'll Keep do. it watered every couple of days. Yeah. And then you'll start to see new life. And right, so it. what happens when... Cos I've put quite a few in here now. Yeah. Because I would not be satisfied with just one. <laughs> um, of course. So, so t when they start... When do I... Th when can I plant them in the garden? So, they'll get um, to a few centimetres big and then what I do, Philip, is put them into... Replant them into their own pots so that they establish. And keep them inside? Yeah. Oh, and I haven't then... got enough space for that. <laughs> They'll only take up a bit of space on your window. So I've got to get a whole lot. I've, got... I've planted seven in here. Fantastic. So I've got to have seven pots. I'll come and help you. Okay, I'll come and help all right. You. So when you okay. say put them on your window, do you mean inside the house? Yeah, inside the house. Oh, see, so I'd have gone put that straight outside. No, it's too cold. It's too... Okay. It's still too cold. And then once we're in May, pop it in your garden, plant it up, and then the slugs will have. It. How fast well. is that going to grow then? How, far, fast. how fast before they're That's up like the that? That's the beauty of sunflowers, Phil. Huh? We can find out. Growing. Wow. We can watch it happen. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Daisy, thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much. Can I just ask you something? Yeah. You know those dog things you were given, those little pots you were given in downstairs in the dressing yes. room? Can I have seven yes, of those? Yes, you can. You thank can. Because I think I, I could put those on the windows. <laughs> <Thank> you can. <laughs> <laughs> right, still to come, Deirdre will be here to take your calls. That's after the break. <laughs>